Waveform is a free digital audio workstation with multi-track recording and virtual instruments with MIDI available for Mac and Windows. In this video, we'll cover installing the Waveform digital audio workstation from Traction on our system and get it running with our audio interface. Before starting, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you'll see all our new content on home recording. To start, go to the Traction Waveform website and click the free download button in the top right. Enter your name and email address, then agree and click submit. Now, go to your email account for an email verification and verify your email. You'll need to complete the rest of the account signup by setting your country, city, and password. Next, go to My Downloads and log back into your account. You'll now choose to download the Windows or Mac installer for Waveform. Once it's downloaded, run the program to install it on your computer. Follow the on-screen prompts in the installer to get it up and running. There should not be any need to change any of the settings. Once you're done, Waveform will launch, but you'll need to activate the program once it's installed and connect to it with your Waveform account. Click the button at the top to unlock Waveform. It will either unlock automatically through your web browser or open a window and prompt you to log in with your Traction account to unlock your free copy of Waveform. Once this step is done, we have the complete free version of the Waveform DAW and can start using it for music production. The last thing we'll need to do is set up our audio interface. I'm using a Focusrite Scarlett 18i20 audio interface which has 8 inputs, 8 outputs and room for expandability with digital optical connections. This is a great USB audio interface for home recording as you can expand it for up to 16 simultaneous inputs and outputs to record instruments like acoustic drums. To get one of these audio interfaces for your own studio, check out our links in the video description down below. To configure your audio interface, go to the settings menu at the top and select audio devices on the side. Select the audio device type and in my case I'll set it to ASIO as I'm using a Windows system then select your device below, which is my Focusrite USB interface. On the right, make sure to enable all the audio inputs you want to have access to so they're available in your tracks. Now Waveform is all set up on our computer and we're good to start recording and producing music. Thanks for checking out this video on installing the Traction Waveform Digital Audio Workstation. If this video helped you out, don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is released. You can also check the video description for links to products featured in this video and social media accounts.